What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2018 is a Dutch Durango 2018 and we have a coat on this car and um on this typical car you have the the actual um OBD lector uh, connector right here but there's something really special about this car um, you can read the codes on this car but I believe you cannot erase them so apparently on this new uh, Dodges I'm gonna show you right now I have my scanner right here I'm gonna auto select the car and it's gonna read the B number switch is open and one thing about these cars the newest ones on Dutch is that the CAN system is locked so you need a special adapter for it as you can see it says for this model please use the Chrysler dedicated, dedicated diagnostic connector otherwise you you will be not able to uh, pull codes or clear the codes and it says um, refer to the video for help for connections so I already watched the video and we have to remove this panel right here we have to take it off and then we have to use this little dongle as you can see he's removing the um, the front panel as you can see uh, and we see that he's gonna use a special adapter that one to connect those connectors and as you can see I have the connector right here I bought it specially for this car and we have to use that with the scanner tool so it says if I connected that adapter already which is not ready I'm gonna remove that panel and then I'm gonna show you how you can pull the codes and we're gonna fix whatever is wrong with this car all right stay tuned all right guys so to connect this little adapter into this vehicle we have to remove this um, I don't know what it's called but it's just a cover under the footwell we have to remove this so we can access to the gateway control module where we can disconnect it and we can access the car direct directly to it so apparently when it read it's supposed to be right here just gotta unplug some things it's supposed to be right here I mean, you can see it but it's right here that's the module we have to unplug this one so we remove the plugs it doesn't have any security clip so we just remove them see it's it's a little bit hard to do it without two hands so it's and there we go so as you can see these are the two plugs we're gonna need and these are these are all the the lines for the uh, canvas so now we have to connect this to with that So now we plug those with this one. We plug the big one with the big one, and it's supposed to fit nice and tight. We can see. Here we go. Now the other end. There we go. Okay. Now that it's ready, now I have to plug my other adapter right here, which is the the receiver, Bluetooth receiver for this for this truck. So put the ignition on and now I'm gonna read the codes. As you can see we have two codes 
and I'm going to check what it is hopefully it lets me read the codes because on these new uh, dodges I've seen something very special I have the adapter to read the codes and everything but you have to have special equipment for it as you can see we have a large leak and a very small leak and I already found the problem I did a diagnosis on this car so the problem is right here right here this is the whole problem so I'm gonna remove the hose and I have the new one right here so this one is gonna go like this like that and I'm just gonna replace it I'm gonna replace it and the other curious thing is I'm gonna I wanna see if I'm gonna be able to erase the codes so I'm going to go to previous codes erase codes let's see if I can erase them okay looks like I can erase the codes all right so I'm gonna turn it on to see if I have the check engine light on or not all right as you can see the light it's off so you can erase the codes and read them with this scanner that's pretty cool and the other scanner to connect with the uh, gateway module it's only to uh, in case you want to program the keys or you want to do some tests uh, you, you have to buy that special tool but for this you can erase you can erase the code all right so I'm gonna replace that hose and I'll be back with the other scanner to show you the procedure to make sure the uh, evaporation system is working correctly all right I'll be back all right guys so as you can see I already installed the hose and this is the old one as you can see it's broken I don't know how it broke but it broke but anyways um, once I already changed once the hose is changed and by the way this is the part number of the hose that's right here that's the number if you want to order the hose so I have the setup already there and remember those uh, connectors that I talked about so they must be connected that, like that and you have to have a valid subscription that way you can do the um, the um the procedure on this car so for this we're gonna go to diagnostics and i believe i already have it here let me see yep i have it right here durango and yep let's check the code yeah that's the old code so just go to diagnostics it's gonna take a while to connect all right as you can see um getting access to the car so i'm gonna just put it in accessories and as you can see it downloaded the file that way I can access the functions so just gonna press ok sure that it's properly connected to the network it is and we're gonna get the optional because um, it's located right there as you can see and um, it has a small video where you can take it but that's another different car I think that's a Jeep and but it's pretty much the same it's just the gateway module is located behind that but on this on this car it's located down there all right so I just hit yes that I have that adapter connected already open the switch switch is open and now let's access to the module on the on the car I'm gonna wait for this until it hits 100% and
All right, so we're in and I hit diagnostics. I'm gonna go to the powertrain. We're gonna read if we have codes. Still, because remember I erased the code with this, but I wanna make sure. Read codes. And let's see. All right, no codes. All right, so on this step, what I'm gonna do is I'm um, gonna hit system test and I'm gonna force the evaporation module to be set. So for that, I hit that, and as you can see, uh, it allows me to test for large leak, loose cap or monitor, whatever. But it says right here, do not run the test again if you already did it. You have to wait 30 seconds before doing it again. So I hit OK, and we have to start the engine. So with that, I'm gonna turn it on. And it just, it will do its thing. Just gonna sit here and wait. And I'll be recording. So what I believe in the first step, what it does is it's gonna close um, the bend valve and everything. I can see here the progress. It's in test mode right now and the large leak test in progress um, it's gonna do um, the marks each one right here and I can see the uh, purge valve duty cycle and also the uh, fuel tank pressure I see that it's negative and maybe that's because it's closed and it's uh, doing vacuum on the tank so probably that's why now I'm just gonna wait and what it says the the ESIM switch that's the the little white thing that goes next to the canister that's a switch that it's a little complicated how it works but it's very special so I'm just gonna wait until we see the, uh, the test looks like it was completed Arch leak tech test in progress, false. Alright guys, so as you can see, uh, you, the uh, test already passed. And it was a successful fix. So that hose was the problem with this uh, with the car. And it's a pretty new car. It doesn't have that many problems. But this was the problem for this 2018 Dutch Durango. And I hope you liked the video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you the next time. Bye. It's Sunday, feel so bittersweet, knowing I can leave. You taste like candy.